you know, he had that bugged out woman, man. She was all, all kind of spirits on that woman. I don't even know if the camera caught all that, man. You know what I'm saying? But, it, you know, that's just Satan, man. The camera shut off. Things are getting good in the spirit. You know? How you doing? Hello. Good, yeah? Bring this word out, kid. Now let's go to the storm. What about them introductory scriptures? I'm gonna get to some meat right now, man. Y'all still worshiping that white Jesus, man. Trip to Ephraim is, is um join unto idols. Leave them alone. Okay? But you do got brothers out there pushing the word, man. See what I'm saying? Brothers out there pushing that word, man. So the Ephraimites getting jacked up. Most times they put a foot up Ephraim ass, man. You Puerto Ricans late, man. I think they got that economic crisis. Now they got the storm hit. You got Jose right behind it. See, the Most High is visiting all 12 tribes, man. And people said that they seen chariots before the Am Hurricane hit. All right? It says, um... I brought this out in the sit now. Bring it out again. Okay. We'll bring it out again. Puerto Rico, you Ephraimites. Ephraim, which means what? To be fruitful. So called Puerto Ricans, all right? It says, Puerto Rico is assessing Hurricane Irma damage, a weird widespread power outage, and that's hell right there. Power outage, that's hell. Okay? None of the electrical devices you can use. You know, can't use the AC, can't use the fan, can't look at no TV. Alright? Can't use your computer, your laptop, your phone. Back to the Stone Age. And that, ultimately, that's going to happen in America too, man. Because I did a video on that, and they said the terrorists can attack the electrical grid, which we know that's the government, man. Right? That's going to happen everywhere, man. When society collapse, okay? You ain't going to have no traffic light, no, uh, uh, uh it's going to be pitch dark out here in these streets, man. All hell saw happen. It's going to be crazy in Babylon, man. But it said Puerto Rico on Friday was still coming to grips with the damage left by Hurricane Irma. As authorities scramble to restore electricity to hospitals, hospitals is down, businesses, and hundreds of thousands of residents at a time when the cash-strapped island, because they got their economic woes, have been struggling to pay even the basic services. Keep reading. It says, Puerto Rico didn't get the eye of the hurricane, but the damage in the northeastern part are extensive and scary. Yeah, that's the terror of the Lord, man. Okay, y'all haven't seen scary yet. Puerto Rico, an unincorporated U.S. territory of 3.4 million residents, doesn't have a vote in the Congress. But Mercada said Florida lawmakers, including Marco Rubio, 
as Senator Bill Nelson have said, they will consider, so it's not even a guarantee, they will consider the island's recovery needs when asked for additional emergency funding. And so they say they'll consider the for mites, man. So it's not a guarantee. Y'all gonna get anything. See? The scripture says, I'm gonna read that precept after this. They have empathy for what's happening in Puerto Rico and understand the risk that Irma, representative for Puerto Rico, McKay said. But guess what? They may get off the shadow because they said they're just gonna consider it. Basically, man, he saw him giving you Puerto Rico's number. You guys got your economic rules and he hasn't done anything. And that's an American territory. So it makes you think he's going to look after your ass after this storm, man. Alright, the electrical grip seems to take the brunt of the storm as overgrown trees and debris blame on the lack of maintenance from budget cutbacks down for power lines. As of late Thursday, 63% of the island's 1.5 million power clients was still without electricity. So that's more than half. Okay? About half of the country is out of power. And you know I can read on down. Oh, matter of fact, let me finish read that. And with the roads still closed and debris, officials warned that it could take weeks or even months to completely reconnect the island. How about Shimmy Alshai and playing games? That's basically what it's coming down to, man. The most high turning it up. And we're going to see stuff out here that's going to shake us. But the Bible says wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of the times. It's going to keep us stable. Okay, because our foundation is Yahweh Shai. But you, a lot of our people, they trust in oppression. They trust in Esau. That's why it says this, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 1. Not 33, they mean, uh... Isaiah 31 verse 1 Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and say on horses and chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel neither seek Yahweh Shem Yahushua See? She says woe unto you You're not seeking the Most High but you're seeking for government help and He's never helped you man. Because the scripture said, what? You trust in oppression, man. That's what I'm going to see if I can find that real quick. How people trust in oppression, man. Let's read it. Isaiah 30, verse 1. It's another precept. Go to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, or Yahweh Shemel Shah, that have counsel, but not of me. I'm not seeking the most high. But you got Jake's every week. They walk up and down. See? The most high is going what? He's turning it up, man. That's, like I said, he's turning that knob up. Okay? And when y'all do try to seek, and that's how I show you people wicked, when all hell break loose, they going to know who to run to. It's going to be too late, and all praise to the most high. He said, Go to the rebellious children, say if Yahweh, by Shimei Al-Shah, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go into Egypt, and have not axed at my mouth, to strengthen themselves, to strengthen themselves in the, the strength of Pharaoh, Pharaoh's great house, the modern day Pharaoh of Esau. They eat him, the white man. It's a modern day Pharaoh. That's a of the children of Israel. Egypt means bondage. So you guys, you go down to Egypt, man. You go to the oppressor for help. Okay? And trust in the shadow of Egypt. So you guys trust in the shadow of Egypt. And I read in Ezra to flee the shadow of this world, man. Your confusion. Read that again. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your strength. 
chain and, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt will confuse it. So you trust in the shadow of Egypt, that's your confusion, man. I'm going to read another precept on you, Ephraimites, too, man. And it's not only Ephraim, it's in a lot of, you know, there's a lot of Cubans down in Miami. A storm is hitting Miami right now. All right? Miami's a ghost town. That's the top vacation spot. All right? Hosea chapter 4, verse 17. It says, Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him go. Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Rican, is joined unto idols. The chief idol, it says, Ray Borgia. Okay? And if you were to idolatry, the whole side is going to kill you, man. But read that precept after this. It says, Read that. We'll read on down. Hosea took the four, verse 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. The so called Puerto Ricans. They're joined to idols, idolatry. Okay? Read on. A lot of you Hispanic tribes, man. They're drinking sour. They have committed boredom continually. A rulers with shame who love to give eat. And this is what the most I think gonna happen to y'all. What's going on, bro? How you feeling, all right? Good, I'm good. Verse 19. The wind have bound her up in her wings, and literally it has. There are storms. And they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices, man. And ultimately, all our people will be ashamed, man. The ones that's outside of the elect. All right? They have their head down in the kingdom, man. All these jakes that walk past and fan their hands, the Lord gonna do, deal with y'all, man. That's what it says in Proverbs, the first chapter. How long he simple ones will he love simplicity? Two thirds. And scripture says evil is like a silly dumb. Alright? All you tribes love simplicity. That's what you want to go to the church for entertainment. You only go to church for the entertainment purposes. That's it. It says, How long he simple ones will he love simplicity? And scorn is the light in their scorning. And fools hate. Knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge of the Most High. They hate the knowledge of the Most High, man. The knowledge of the Heavenly Father, man. It says, And fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour up my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. Because I called, and you refused. I stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But he has said at naught my counsel, and with none of my reproof. And that's for who? The prophets of the Lord. Because we're out here reproving you, man. But y'all not listening, man. So what the most I said, verse 26, I will laugh at your calamities. I will mock when you appear coming. So now they out of power, catching hell. Both sides said, what? He's mocking you, man. Because you got brothers out there teaching. Y'all ain't listening, man. Just like they ain't listening out here. When your fear coming as desolation, and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon you, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, so they shall not find me. Y'all gonna seek the most side, but y'all not gonna find it, man. See? Most side playing, man. Y'all about shimmy outside playing, man. 
Alright? Here we all see ya. I bring this to China a long time. Well, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face, which is a book. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So now the most I start whipping y'all <laughs> with all these catastrophic events, then y'all gonna try to seek the most high. But only the elect is gonna receive it though, man. The vast majority of our people, you're gonna be rejected, man. Okay? Because you can't play the Lord, man. Just like in the days of Noah. Okay? Just like in the time of 70 AD. Just like the time of Jeremiah. See what I'm saying? So the most I said Marie, 2 Chronicles 36. Hey, y'all being visited by the Lord of hosts, man. I'm gonna read that. Bring the same precepts I brought out in the sit down. I'm gonna bring it out again, man. Second Chronicles chapter 36. Verse 15. And Yahweh Shimi Al Shah, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up these times. And send it because he have compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mock the messengers of the Most High and despise his words and misuse his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh by Shimiao Shah, the Lord, arose against his people until there was no remedy. And that wrath is right now. That's why it says Isaiah 29 and 6. You guys have misused the prophets, man. Our forefathers did it, and our people did it today. It says what? Isaiah 29 and 6. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shah, with thunder and with earthquake and a great noise, with storm and tempest, hurricanes, man. All right, and a flame of devouring fire, which is the nuclear missiles, which got them wildfires in California as well. Who you think is doing that? That's the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, that's the Lord of hosts. Say this again. Yes, sir. Yeah, but listen, I come here every week. Yup. Every week. week. Alright. So, that being said, the word of the Lord continue, man. See what I'm saying? There's always a demon coming up, man. Give me, um... read on. Galatians chapter 5 verse 10. No, Amos 5 and 10.
rebuke him in the game and they applaud him and speak up right because why the scripture said what men love darkness rather than light because their ways are evil see what I'm saying Like I read, they misuse the prophets and they hate and never hate. See so what I'm saying? But you don't hate us. You really hate. Your how was shot, man. Okay? <laughs> so, so the scripture says Psalms 105, verse 15. And people don't know, that's a curse unto you. When you come up here with your nonsense, that's a curse unto you, man. Say it, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm, man. Okay? Hey, look at the ladies two sides of my say proud as hell, boy. Proud, man. See what I'm saying? They mad proud, man. You see, but that just shows that we in the last days, man. It just show you we in the very last days of the last days. See? It's crazy, man. But, you know, we're not going to get upset. We're just going to keep blowing the trumpet. All right? You people, you're sealed, man. All right? Oh, man, it's crazy. See? That's Babylon. That's what the scripture says. As a matter of fact, let's see if I get that preset. I forgot that preset. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Revelation chapter 18, verse 13. That's what I said, verse 1. Revelation 18 and 1. No, let me stop in verse 1. Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon is the great is fallen is fallen and has become the habitation of devils all right it's gonna have what owls hand Komodo dragons when it's totally destroyed and the hold of every foul spirit and that's that's right now actually man. every foul spirit man that's why it says verse 13 I'm gonna jump says and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and you see it this place has the souls of men all right this place has the souls of men man this is why people are in a dead state, man. Alright, that's why scripture says Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. See, I'm jumping, man. I wanted to get to the natural disasters, but... Go Isaiah 19 first. Isaiah chapter 19. Isaiah 
Isaiah chapter 19 verse 14 Yahweh by Shem Yahushua have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggered in his vomit that's why we see all that sexual perverseness because the Most High mingled a perverse spirit and now you Jakes, you Israelites you now surpass the ways of the heathen man that's why I said Proverbs 12 26 so the Most High he mingled a perverse spirit man alright Proverbs and he's going to cleanse it with fire alright Proverbs chapter 12 verse 26 let me jump back into the natural disasters because I got to bring that out again man Proverbs 12, 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Who is the righteous? The Israelites. Who is the wicked? Esau, the white man. But his ways have seduced him. Okay? That's where the scripture says what? In Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, that you, you um, he said, among my people are found wicked men. All right? And their ways, what, surpass the wicked, man. And I see that just out here prophesying. Because it tells you that Babylon has what? The souls of men, man. America, man. But we're telling you right here today, and we've been out on these highways and hedges, the Most High is going to judge this place, man. Because how it was built was unjust. And you see the wickedness that it's doing today. You see the state of our people today. Because of America, man. That's why the scripture said what? To flee the shadow of this world, man. That's why it also says, let me read. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 6 Oh my god Jeremiah 51 and 6 Jake is crazy man Alright Jeremiah 51 and 6 So much spirits walking past It's crazy man That's why the Bible tells us this Jeremiah 51 and 6 Flee, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. All right? Read it again. Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, man. Okay, and how do you flee spiritually? Come out. So we read Revelation 18 chapter. Okay? Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Man. Read it one more time. Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, man. You gotta flee, man. Come out of her ways. Because the clock is ticking. Alright? The bridegroom is coming, man. And deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. But this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So the Most High is going to recompense America for all the wickedness that it's been doing. And that's what we're going to keep teaching every week, man. The Bible says what? To be occupied in prophecy. Because the spirit of Yahweh is prophecy. And we are in the time of the Most High's vengeance, man. We're in the time of his recompense. 
That's when we read Nahum, the first chapter. Shut up after this. And of course, I gotta get into IUIC, ISUBK. You guys see you the same nonsense, man. See, we gotta start amping up the attacks, man, because there's a lot of blood on there's a lot of blood on your hands. Nahum chapter one. Start from one. I brought this out of sit down and bring it out again. Nahum 101. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Eklos, Eklos Shite. The Most High is jealous, and the Lord, Yahabah Shimi Al Shah, revenge it. Yahabah Shimi Al Shah, revenge it, and it's furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserved wrath for his enemies. How about Shimei Al Shah is slow to anger, great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. So he does not going to acquit the wicked. Yet. He's slow to anger, but he does not acquit the wicked. Man, according to the scriptures, man, because he's a just power. You reap what you sow. All right. It says, "I will not at all acquit the wicked." How about Shimei Al Shah have his way in the whirlwind, these storms, and in the storm, these hurricanes. And the clouds of the dust are of his feet. He rebuked the sea and make it dry and dried up the rivers. Right, right, right. But Shun languished and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languished. The mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth, earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in his fierceness of his anger? His fury is fought out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. See? That's the Most High. Okay? That's the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? We read him by his anger, man, which they ain't gonna teach you that in church. You know, whatever they teach.